Welcome to The Better Half. I'm Rachel Monick, and joining me today, Mrs. Heaven Daniels. Hi, Heaven. Good morning. Christy Martinez, wife of Packers linebacker Blake Martinez, is back. And joining us for the first time, Morgan Carlson. She's the better half to Packers quarterback Tim Boyle. Ladies, how are you? Great. Good. It is the season for the holidays. I'm are ready. You ready? For, of course I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> it <laughs> it is the eating here. holiday. Yeah, exactly. It's the eating holiday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and so we're going to focus on Thanksgiving today, getting ready for the festivities. We'll have recipes for you, tips on pairing wines with those Ooh. recipes, and how to make your table look beautiful, and a whole lot more. So um, let's start with Thanksgiving, shall we? And Thanksgiving traditions. I'll bring you in right away, Heaven. Yeah, so ever since we've been in Green Bay, Mike and I have hosted Thanksgiving, which is a lot of fun. Um, his family lives here currently, so all my siblings, my mom, my dad, my nieces, nephew, everybody comes and we cook, we eat, we do games, we... That's part of it, right? Your games? Yeah, like, the games are a huge deal. Are, they, get, are like, they mandatory? Is that right? I make everyone follow <laughs> my schedule, so whatever I put on the schedule, I expect everyone to participate and have fun. Do you have any new games to bring in? No, we always do Just Dance. Uh, lately, our newest tradition has been doing bowling the night before oh, Thanksgiving, right. so okay. that's really that's really fun. Okay, so yeah. that, that's fun. Yeah. And the same foods, like you have your favorites, right? Yeah, yeah. macaroni and cheese, dressing, <laughs> you know, turkey. Yeah. All the above. <laughs> All the good stuff. All the above. Yeah. Christy, what about you? Do you have any favorite uh, Thanksgiving traditions? Yeah. Ours is a little more low key, just because <laughs> now, well, now we have an extra tradition. So, Everybody's well, is more low key than yeah, that. probably true. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. It's a lot more quiet than the household. Um, we just relax. We eat good food. We'll watch a movie. Oh, that's sweet. Try to, we'll try to sleep a little bit more this year. Yeah, we yeah. have family in, or just the three of you? Just the three of us. But I'm sure we'll add on to another families at the Packers house mm -hmm. Thanksgiving this year. Okay, yeah. very good. Um, and uh, do you have any favorite Thanksgiving recipes that I make? A cold sweet potato dish with Ooh. pistachios. Ooh. It's a pistachio mm. dressing, and then you kind of crunch pistachio on top, and it's delicious. Did you learn that from family? I, it's in my recipe book. <gasps> yes. It's oh, a secret yeah. recipe. <laughs> it's a secret recipe, and Blake likes it? He loves it. <laughs> Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, maybe you'll make that for us yeah, someday. I'll bring it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll bring, bring it. it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Morgan, how about you? Um, usually we're a little more low key, but this year I'm actually going to Portland, Maine, and my whole family is going there for Thanksgiving. That's so we're doing a big thing there with like my whole family and staying at my grandpa's house. That's oh, fun. That sounds that's, really yeah, fun. You're really gonna, you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. I'm it's so awesome. excited. So let me ask you. Uh, I'll just stick with you a little bit. Okay. What are you most thankful for this year, Morgan? Definitely my parents. This past year has been crazy. Tim and I have moved three separate times and every time they've been so supportive and can't help enough. So definitely my parents and Tim's parents, they've been amazing. And I mean Tim too. So yeah. <laughs> he's been great, but <laughs> I like that you put the parents he's there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 He's there. Right. And I you're thankful for your new baby, I'm sure. Yes. She's precious in our family. And also the friends that we've made in Green Bay over the past year that have become family. Blake's family lives in Arizona, my family lives in California, so they can't really get out for the holidays. So we try, it's just been awesome to have a family here in Green Bay. Right. And that, the Packers are good about that, right? Yeah. Like yeah. bringing in um, activities for you to do and resources yeah. to help mm -hmm. you out and bring you together. Yeah, the bond on and off the field, I think that's important. And like she said, most people have family who live out of town, so it's really mm -hmm. nice when you can have that sense of family yeah. still yeah. here in Green Bay. Yeah. How, how big is your family now? I've got four kids. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm thankful for. Honestly, it's been a hot mess and a bit of a blur, but the older I get, the more kids I have, I just kind of fall more in love with it. And it's just, it's been a really special part of my life. So just think family. about what it's going to be like in a few years when they're not in the baby stage and they're running around. I won't know what to do with myself, honestly. <laughs> like I'll have free time. I can shower before midnight. Like it's going to be, it's going to be different. Um, right now I'm just kind of trying to be appreciative of this without losing sight that this is just temporary, the madness, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to pass, so. Yeah, and then you'll just be driving them around. I'll be driving them. I'm already doing it. We're already in sports. You're going to need two family yeah. vans, I think. <laughs> <Sprinter> van. <laughs> um, well, we talked about your baby. Will you yes. show us some pictures? I'd love to. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us all about oh your baby. God. She is precious. I just, <laughs> I love that so picture. Cute. I need to frame these in my house because I just have them on my phone, but she's three months now. She's kind of figuring out the sleep schedule, which is awesome, but she's talking, cooing. What's her name? Kinsley. Kinsley. You call her? Kim Kim. Kim Kim. Kim Kim. <laughs> yeah, we have about 100 nicknames for her. 
and counting, I'm sure. There's Aww. also a training camp. Those are some of my favorite pictures when the training camp pictures with the little yeah. babies and <laughs> So and the cute. dads just seem so excited to so see proud. their offspring, yeah. you know, watching them <laughs> practice and being part of it. He was so happy to have her there, too. <laughs> I like follow, I follow you on social media, mm -hmm. and when you all have your babies together, it's kind of neat that you can bond, right, yeah. a yeah. little bit over the newborns. And there's a lot of Packer babies. There's a lot of babies. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you've taken baby to... The game. Yep, this was her Sunday. Was her second game. Okay. Were you inside? Yes. Okay. Have you taken her outside for a game? No. You worried about her ears? <laughs> I'm worried about her ears and the, the cold. Yeah, and I don't ever want her screaming in someone's ear if that were to happen. So it's nice to just kind of walk, walk Keep around blended. inside. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing as a family? How are you figuring the mom thing out and everything? We love it. There's, I mean, being a new mom, there's good days, bad days. Just still kind of trying to figure it out but at the end of the day we sit down Blake and I when he gets home from work and just look at her in awe yeah still I mean we'll do that for the rest of our life but she's been a blessing you just stare at her yeah it's <laughs> our little baby we just stare at her yeah little baby kid awesome. yeah and you do that too all the time you, well your... kind of <laughs> look at one and watching the other one <laughs> there's more to kind of yeah. <laughs> I can relate now, I don't think Morgan can relate to that yet, but give her time. <laughs> but she has a very interesting story because you've known your man since you were 10 years old. Yes. Tell us about your relationship. So our older sisters were on the same basketball team. So when I first met him, I was the most supportive sister in the world. I would go to all my sister's games hoping he would be there because <laughs> I've literally been obsessed with him since I was little. And then <laughs> our families have been really close. So we've always just, we moved away to North Carolina. We've been far apart, but we'd always like see him every couple years. And then we started dating my senior year of college. And it's just, we've been friends for so long that we know each other so well. Mm -hmm. So it's been great. Okay, so you knew each other when you were 10, mm -hmm. but you didn't start dating until college. Yeah, so we've okay. only been dating for like a little over a year. Yeah. But still like to know someone your whole right. entire life and end up with them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's so crazy. I love that. It's such a good story. Yeah. And how are, how are things here in Green Bay for you two? We love it. Yeah. Yeah, it actually reminds us a lot of Connecticut. So it's kind of homey at the same mm -hmm. time. So it's not that bad. And like Chrissy said, everyone is so supportive and like loving and we don't feel alone here. And everyone's been like so willing, like invite me places. And like we always go have something to do. So it's been awesome. We love it. Yeah. That's cool. No, I was just saying, it's super cool. <laughs> so you don't feel, like, we, when you got here right away, were you nervous about what oh, it would be terrified. like? Oh, I was terrified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was terrified. And then we, um, the luncheon with all the girls, and I met a lot of them, and everyone was so nice, and I was like, okay, everything's It's fine. not what you expect it to be. Oh, huh? yeah. No, Seems I like was going to be, like, intimidating. You get yeah. here in Green Bay, and it's like, oh, it's, it's welcoming. It's, yeah, I was like, I'm oh, be all everyone's right. really nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so, we love it. And you just graduated from college, right? Yes. Earlier this year? Yeah. And May. so now what? So I was working in Boston as a data analyst, and then I came here, and now we're still like in limbo. I've just been decorating the house for now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my That's daily your job. job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that and keeping the fridge stocked is my yeah, job right now. <laughs> and looking forward to the holidays. You said Thanksgiving, you're going to go back to the East yes. Coast. Um, and then just figure things out after that? Yeah, Christmas. This will be our first official like Christmas together, just the two of us. So we're trying to like figure out what our family traditions will be. And mm -hmm. we'll probably hang out with the team because everyone will be here mostly. So we're excited. Well, welcome to Green Bay. Thank you. Welcome to the better half. <laughs> nice getting to know you and, and have fun on today's show because we're going to do yeah. some fun stuff. I'm excited. Yeah. Do you drink wine? Yeah, we do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, another thing that's been going on, um, you've met some of the, the uh, better halves of these two guys. November is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and a couple of players, past and present, are helping out the cause. Guard Lane Taylor and former safety Nick Collins agreed to change their looks to bring attention to the disease. You've seen this before. These guys got their beard shaved, up, right? This is fun. What do, you, what do you think of this? I think this, this is, is so fun. I know Casey said, uh, I can't wait for my husband to have his beard back because he looks so <laughs> young, but it's for a great cause. I mean, it's worth it. It's, it's so great that they get involved and do this. It's called the Green, Gold, and Growing Campaign. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men. And Collins explained his personal reason for shaving his beard for the first time in three and a half years. I did it because I had uh, both of my parents die from a form of cancer. So this was just a good opportunity to, you know, get out there and uh, have a voice and bring awareness to, to cancer, period. 
Poor guy. It's so funny to see them without facial hair. I know. And then in that position. Exactly, right? But yeah, Lane has such a baby face. He does. Yeah, he looks very young that. without the hair. We'll have to try to follow up with a picture of how much they were able to, to grow. Right. Yeah. Does Blake grow a beard? He does. Yeah, he does definitely. I, I talk him into trimming it down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Not really a fan of the beard. Not so much. <laughs> well, we have a lot more still to come up next. We're heading into the kitchen for some delicious Thanksgiving side dishes. Chef Jill Everman is here. I think, I, I, let me guess, Heaven's going to like this one. I'm excited about this. this Parmesan par mm. corn pudding. There's Sounds cream. amazing. There's Ooh. cheese. The better half. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Better Half. Chef Jill Everman is here from Gather on Broadway, and she has a great Thanksgiving side dish. We've got cream, we've got butter, we've got cheese. Yeah. Jill, Building you can come. Life. You can come anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Building blocks it's life. healthy. Look at all the dairy and the vegetables. It's basically Ooh. a salad. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, why don't we start making this first, and as it's kind of coming together, we can chat. Okay. But, yeah, this good. is a tradition in our house. This is my mom's been making this for a hundred years. I mean, it's it's been passed down in my family. It's a Parmesan corn pudding and it is awesome and what I love about it is you can make it the day before so just have it in the nice. fridge and you just mm. pop it right in and, and it makes life a little bit easier yeah definitely it's nice to have a dish or two like that so you're not doing everything oh, day I, up. I do almost everything with the exception of the turkey the day before okay so I can just pop it into a slow cooker or you know what have you so okay so I have a couple of bags here of frozen corn now if you're like me I take a lot of the corn here love you're gonna be stirring that for me get that this. all nice and hot mm -hmm. I like to take the corn in the summertime since 
Wisconsin has the best corn mm -hmm. in the world, in my opinion. Yeah. And shuck it and freeze it. So if you're one of those people oh, who use did that, that corn. use that because okay. it's really nice with the heaviness of everything at Thanksgiving to actually get some freshness as well. Okay. But okay, so in there I just have a few bags of frozen corn and some heavy cream. We're gonna add some sugar, a little bit, just to bring. We're not making this a sweet. Uh, dish, but we are going to, you want to bring out the natural sugars of the corn. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit, but we're going to add more salt. So we're going to get some salt in here as well. It and we delicious. Is this smell good already? Yeah. We didn't even add like the cheese or anything to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like cheese. It's just corn and cream. God bless it. All right. So what I have here, while that's getting nice and hot, um, I have a little unsalted butter because you always cook with unsalted butter, no matter what. Because? Because you never let anyone else season your food. Season your own food. Don't, okay. don't, you, you have no idea how much salt would be in there. So just unsalted butter. And I'm going to add to that a few tablespoons of flour because we're going to make a roux here where a lot of like the casserole type dishes call for a cream of something soup. Right. And we're going to try to avoid that at all costs. Okay. We want, we want to make our own. We're not opening a can for this one. We're not. Okay. Nope. I want, because I mean, how easy was that? I basically just made a cream yeah. of whatever. Right. So just, just <laughs> butter and flour. We already salted it, so we don't need the salted butter. And what you're going to do is now that this is coming up to a simmer, which is what you want, and make sure that corn is thawed out before you put it in. If you get the frozen corn, get it the day before, let it thaw out. Because if you're dealing with frozen corn, it's going to take forever to simmer. Okay. So now we have the corn, the cream, the sugar, the salt. Now we're going to stir in this roux, this mm. fat and flour, and we're going to get this super <laughs> thick. I know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> thicken that up a little bit. Thicken it up. <laughs> Stir it up. Thicken it up. Such a healthy salad. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the spinach coming through. Right yeah, yeah. We can add parsley to it if it makes everybody yeah, feel better. Add a green, sure. <laughs> why, why fool ourselves? See how it's getting thick. So when you drag the spoon through, you like drag the spoon through once. You can kind of see it leaves a mark. Oh, yeah. That means it's thickening up on us. Okay. So give it one more good stir, and then of course we have to get in. Parmesan. The cheese. The cheese. <laughs> now, for me, I'm not a huge fan of using bagged grated cheeses when it comes to stuff like this because okay. there's a white substance on that cheese and it keeps it from sticking together in the bag, which oh. is great, but it doesn't create a smooth mm -hmm. dish. Mm -hmm. So you want to grate it fresh. So I just, that's why I had kids. You make them meal prep. That's why they're here. Dump that in there. My husband's Stir been doing it in the food processor. I love doing it in the food processor. Just it makes take, life yeah. so much and easier. And then you don't scrape your fingers off. Exactly. You know, that's exactly. Happening. The things okay. that your family never knows about at Thanksgiving, where you're like, I dropped that turkey in there. No idea. <laughs> Do you mind spraying this down for me, yeah. real quick? I got a casserole dish here. This is all this dish is. It's basically a glorified creamed corn okay. with a lot of cheese okay. and a little bit of sugar. So now we're going to pour it in here. Thank you. So you get a pretty casserole dish. Thank you. And we're going to pour it right in. See how that's nice and thick like that? Mm. And now all you're going to do is top it with some more Parmesan and just bake it. Now at this point, top it with Parmesan right and here. get it in your fridge. That's what I want you to do. Just get it in your fridge the next day, you can pop it out. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> don't eat it. that. No, I won't eat it. Because <laughs> I know you, you and you might. Smoke. <laughs> I'm a messy chef. So. Yeah, don't okay. trust a clean chef. <laughs> Never trust a clean chef. Okay, so you would hit this with a little more Parmesan and then get that in the oven and look at how it comes out. Now, like I said, that took five minutes. Right. Yep. And how long is together. it in the oven? I put it in the oven for like, I don't know, check it after 15 minutes or so, but that cheese gets nice and crusty on top. Okay. Like this, and that's it. And it, it and couldn't how be easier. How hot do you want the oven? Like 400-ish. Okay. So it's cooked. Okay. It's already cooked. All you're trying to do is melt that cheese and let it all come together. And so when it's golden like yeah, that on top, it, oh. it looks like pudding. To oh. die for. Mm. It is to die for. You girls are going to love this. It's one of my favorite things. And like I said, my amazing. mom's been making this for 30 some years and it was passed down in my Thank family. You. And just one of my favorite things. So, although when you guys were talking about your Thanksgiving traditions, I was literally ready to head over to everyone's house. <laughs> it all sounded so good. I like that heaven leads with the mac and cheese. Right? Yeah, she yeah. starts strong. Yeah. She starts really strong. So be careful, it's gonna be hot, but okay. it is. We'll blow on that. Delightful. Okay. Um, I wanna ask you, you got a little bit of national attention. Did so Jill has been on the show before, and we've talked about the fact that you were part of a reality cooking show yeah. back in the day, back a long time ago, on the, <laughs> on the Food Channel, on the Food Network, yes. But now, again, back in the national spotlight. Yes. How was that? What that happened? That was a blast. I got to go on the Today Show uh, two Fridays ago, and it was a 24-hour awesome. trip to New York, and I got to represent Green Bay and represent the Packers. I had my Packer gear on, and I couldn't wear a logo. They didn't want me to wear a logo, so I had like the cheese earrings rocking, like, okay. the green, and everything. And then at the very end, I was like. I literally like got between Hoda and uh, Savannah. I was like, "Go Packers!" <laughs> I just threw it in there. My you mom the was there. She was embarrassed, but yet so proud. So you it know. was fun. It was a blast. It was a blast. It was a very fast 24-hour trip, but 
It was fantastic. And what did you make? Uh, they wanted you to represent, so I sent them like 10 different recipes and they picked two. So I did beer brat Reuben <laughs> sliders. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, beer brought pigs in a blanket with like caramelized onions and beer cheese sauce and they really oh. wanted the, the green stuff. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what, they all loved it. Carson Bailey was, like, was going for mine and wouldn't even look at the other ones. So. <laughs> beer and brat, you can't go wrong with that. Well, so many people and don't know what that is. Too. It was cute the way you presented it. Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. And they're delicious. They're really good. So, yeah, yeah it wasn't like a throwaway. It was, it was a good dish and I think everyone was excited because no one else makes that. Except for us. Yeah. So I think people get really excited, like, beer brats, we've heard of those before, and they get really excited about it. So, <laughs> what do you think? This, this is, is amazing. Awesome. It's amazing, oh, isn't it? So good. Creamy, cheesy goodness. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Gather on Broadway, you're doing holiday stuff? Yes. So uh, we have a drag show this weekend, which I'm so excited. It's my favorite thing we do. It's my favorite thing we do. You get a group of girls together. I've been. So on Widow's Weekend, it's a blast. Because the, <laughs> the beautiful queens, they come into the audience and play. You're not just watching them on a stage. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, the dinner part, or the cocktail hour part is sold out, but we still have a few tickets left. And then if you're bored on Black Friday, or if you have people in town, friends in town, we are doing dueling pianos. Perfect. And that's just, oh, and you that's can do a three course fun. dinner beforehand too if you want to. So you can do dueling pianos, uh, just the show, or come for dinner if you want, and then stay yeah. for the show. It's just a great way to get your family out and about. So she does a lot of cooking classes too. And uh, gather on Broadway. Follow them on Facebook for all the updates. Yes, please. All right, Jill. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very delicious. Up next, so we have so to, good. Before we bring thank the food to the table, amazing. we want to make it look beautiful. Look at that. We're going to help you with some great ideas when we return. You're watching the better half. Real cheese people are ham and Swiss people. Some love open-faced, others as big as your face. They're hot and cold, big and bold, thick and ultra-thin. But they would never make a sandwich with pasteurized processed cheese food. It's only required to contain 51% real cheese. Sargento slices are 100% real, natural cheese. They let sandwich lovers fly their Munster, cheddar, and Gouda flags high. Sargento, natural cheese slices. We're real cheese people. Every time you go in, you start again. Thank you for supporting our mission. You always amaze me. Welcome back to The Better Half. Nicole Campbell is here getting our Thanksgiving table all ready. Yep. Hi, Nicole. Hello. Welcome back to the show. Thank now, you. Now, you've been on here before, and often around this time of year, we've got orange pumpkins that we're working with. Yes. You have a different color palette this year. Yeah, I like to change up the color palette a little bit, and I think the grays and blues, it's very on trend right now, so we're kind of playing with that for something that still feels earthy and organic and autumn, but in a different way. Yeah, you 
I noticed it right it. away. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love the little tinge of gold in there. You know, yes. metallics stick out to me. A little mm -hmm. glamorous. Yes. Little, yeah, little right? accents of metallics. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to start with today is what we've got going on in the middle here. Okay. And this is just, um, it's going to be the centerpiece, but it's just one of those foam wreath bases. You can pick up at the craft store. And all we're going to be doing is cutting some lengths of varied ribbons that work within our color palette and tying them around. They to don't give... have to be all the same length. It no, looks like. gosh, no. There's no measuring required so for like this. It's super easy, just... but it looks really fancy. It looks yes. very <laughs> I love that. Yes. <laughs> and it's a great way to use it. Maybe you've got like a little leftover ribbon that, you know, it's not enough for any other project, but it's perfect for this. So just start knotting them on there, and we just cover the entire base on there. Perfect. So okay. we're going to get going Super on cute. that. Yeah. Putting Morgan to work. Yes, exactly. <laughs> got it. <laughs> and then Heaven's going to start with our place cards, which we've got a really fun idea for this, botanically inspired. This is lemon leaf. It's a really uh, common foliage. You should be able to get at any florist. What she's going to do is peel the little leaves off, and we're actually going to use those as living place cards. How oh, cute. So I've got just some metallic gold and silver pens, and she's just going to write those on there, and then we're going to use those as the place cards and accent them with a little white gourd on I'm going to make place. you guys one. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. So do, they, invited. do they smell like lemon at all, or is it just what it's called? No, just what it's called. Okay. Bummer, right? If only it had the bread. Well, you could always add a little sprig of, like, a sprig of fresh rosemary or yeah. something, too, if you wanted a little scent on there as well. They just need to have a nice flat surface to write on. Okay. So that's Very why that good. one works great. I okay. Love this. So, yeah. so let's pretend Morgan's done, right? Yeah, we won't yeah. make her do this forever because it does take a little time. It's a great thing to do in front of the TV. So what we're going to do is elevate this a little bit on a, just an upside down basket that I flipped over. And we're going to pop that on there. And then we're just going to stack. The okay. centerpiece is super easy to assemble. Such I've got a, a grapevine wreath here, just a simple twig wreath. I'm going to use that to give a little bit more dimension. And then we're going to start filling in the center. So there's no foam required, no water easy. needed. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> My kind yes. of craft, for sure. So we're going to use good. some of these oversized pine cones. These are sugar cones. They're great to help fill in there. And then we were playing around with the metallics, so we mm. did our gourds. We gave them just a little, little bit paint. of spray paint. Nice. That's right. I, I love, love it. That makes it yeah, feel just a so little cool. bit more special um, and gives them a little bit of sheen. And it's like when you're doing something like that, instant gratification. Right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, totally. Totally. it's just glamorous. I walked outside, I walked back in, and I'm like, wow, they're so much better now. And then we did just a little bit of ribbon Aww. embellishment on some of the gourds as well, just to make it a little bit more fancy. I like that these are white. These are cute. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a nice so change. They're called yeah. Baby Boo. Isn't Baby that Boo. the okay, cutest yeah, little adorable. name? And then we're going to tuck a couple little succulents in there, because it works so well with our color palette. And then, Rachel, if I can have you cut a few little chunks of greenery. Any of these? Any of those. This is the seeded eucalyptus, right? Yes. Rachel, you do your stuff. <laughs> Look at you. you know what? I've been doing these segments for a long time. <laughs> have you that checked these out? Does it need to be, you want it big or Nope, they little? doesn't need much stem at all because there's okay. no water, so it doesn't matter. The great thing is we're using greenery that dries really, really right. well, so it's just going to be a little tough. It'll last for a while, too. I feel like too. we should mm -hmm. use some that of the, so what was it, lemon leaf? Lemon leaf to, to tie into our, our place cards. Yep. Heaven, I'm going to pass that down to yeah, you so absolutely. you can tuck it in on that side. Sure. Oh, I sure will. Oh, this. <laughs> Let's do here. Oh. Yep, you're just kind of tucking it in between the gourds. This is my like favorite that. of all time. Don't you be surprised if you guys see this on my like social media, like I that I built a wreath <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> yeah. on this my Thanksgiving centerpiece. Like it's just mm -hmm. so amazing. It's very simple, but it, like it looks really, really fancy, and I love yep. that. It is very, very simple. I'm foam wreath Do upside down basket. Half? Yeah, I need that a little okay. shorter. And oh, then Rachel? we're also bringing in a little bit of evergreen, too. You know, because we sometimes think of that just for the holidays. We do, like Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful because it's it's Ooh. Wisconsin. And you me. really yeah. could spray paint these, too. Like, I'd probably put glitter all up and through. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'd probably Make put glitter all up and through thing. this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can get as sparkle-tastic as you want Less to with this. Less is more is not her motto. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keeping it real. And then we've got a few little tucks. Nope, that's perfect. A few little tucks of the millet just to bring in a little bit of this amber tone and texture. Look how beautiful so yeah, I mean, it's no great. water, easy, day before, that way you have time to cook. You need an arrangement for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any event, <laughs> any occasion. Nicole Campbell, floral designer at Petal Pusher on Broadway in Green Bay. Thank you so much. Thank you. What do you think, ladies? I love it. It's so pretty. It's going to do it. <laughs> and then you've got the wreath you can turn into something else down the road, Right, too. you can reuse that. Yeah, totally. It's beautiful. You can hang it on the wall, well. right? Mm -hmm. It's a win-win. You're watching The Better Half. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the better half where today we are enjoying Frosties. Awesome. <laughs> these Frosties are a win-win for everyone. You can purchase one of these. They're $2 and the little Frosty key tag They're right so here. They're so cute, right? Right? You can enjoy a free Junior Frosty all year with any purchase and the proceeds of that purchase will go to the Dave Thomas Foundation for adoption. It's a national nonprofit charity dedicated exclusively to finding permanent homes and loving families for the more than 150,000 children waiting in North America's foster care systems. The foundation was created by Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, who was adopted. The Wendy's Wonderful Kids program focuses exclusively on the longest waiting children from foster care and finding them their forever families. Every Wendy's restaurant in Wisconsin supports Wendy's Wonderful Kids and you will find donation canisters inside each restaurant and all the money donated goes directly to helping children in Wisconsin. With that being said, the biggest way that people can make a change is drop off your change at Wendy's. Great idea. And I love it. Very tasty. Very too. good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's time to switch gears right now. We're going to talk a little bit about makeup and heaven, of course. I, I just love you. Every day you get a, you give yourself a new look. Is it a passion? Of I yours? love it. I watched my mother growing up doing her makeup all the time, and I think that's where I kind of fell in love with it. And I used to be really horrible, guys, like terrible. I go back and look at old pictures from college, and it's just the grow up, the glow up is amazing. So. <laughs> Well, it's you, and this time you're going to share a beautiful fall, a fall look. look with yep. everyone. It's going to be great. Hey guys, it's Heaven Daniels here. Get ready to check out this fun fall look brought to you by Life in HD. Alrighty, I'm here with my girlfriend Dorothy, and we're going to do a fall look on her. She is a mom, and nine times out of ten, as you can see, she has an amazing skin, very clear, so she's not wearing makeup. Um, but when she does, she looks great. So this is a really perfect canvas to get started on. I start with the eyebrows because they totally frame the face. And what I'm doing is just taking a brow pencil, following the bottom brow line, then filling in the actual eyebrow, and then following the top brow line. Um, as you can notice, I use a upward flicking motion on the middle brow to make it more natural, and then I go ahead and blend it out with a spoolie. And now I just put a little concealer on my hands, which I'm using to clean up the eyebrows. So that helps to get the shape that you want in place and then it also doubles as a primer because I just went ahead and spread that same concealer down into her eyelid before I started the application of her eyeshadow. Um, so we're doing a fall look, doing a little bit of a smoky eye and then transitioning down into warmer golden neutral colors. So as you guys can see here, I'm applying a little bit of tape and you're probably wondering why. And you'll see in just a few minutes, but this is a makeup pack that you can use, and even prior to applying any eyeshadow at all. But essentially, it's going to make it easy for you to get that winged liner and to sharpen the outer corners of your eyeshadow for a really, really nice, very clean look. So now I'm just going to apply some gel eyeliner from Morphe Cosmetics in the color of Jet. And I'm going to take a gold pigmented color from one of Juvia's palette eyeshadows. And the trick to those is taking the brush and then when you're applying it on the eyelid literally pressing into the eyelid and dragging it that's going to help the pigment to really show true and then if you have a little bit of glitter in your eyeshadow it's going to be bold and look true to color as well and now i'm applying some lashes and making sure the glue is dried and then i go ahead and pull off that tape and as you can see we've got really nice clean lines for her eyeshadow I primed her face already, applied some foundation. Under her eyes, I used some Mary Kay concealer, and then I used a setting powder to set the highlight under her eyes to keep it bright, but also keep that from creasing there. Went ahead and added a little um, contour for dimension, and then for the Fenty Beauty line Trophy Highlighter to bring a little shine and shimmer to her cheeks and all the areas of her face we want to give light and then I went ahead and set that with Morphe setting spray. And now you can see the before and after, from everyday mom to a night on the town. And this is again, is a perfect fall look for anybody. If you want, you can make the eyeliner a little more simple, but other than that, you're good to go. All right guys, thanks for tuning in.
Kevin Daniels. Uh, nice <laughs> job. What a dramatic change. I know. Wow. And she's such a simple person. So it was like fun to see her. Like she wore it all day. She like wore it out that night. So that's cool. You have to teach me the contouring thing. Absolutely. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up next, wine time. What pairs best with turkey and those delicious side dishes? We'll get some tips from an expert. Don't go anywhere. The better half will be right back. Real cheese people are ham and Swiss people. They're hot and cold, big and bold, but they would never make a sandwich with pasteurized processed cheese food. Sargento slices are 100% real natural cheese. Sargento, we're real cheese people. It's that time of year again. Time to get your Medicare coverage. We know a lot about Medicare. We're not work health. Call or go online now to learn about our Medicare Advantage PPO plans. Plans start as low as $0 a month, including medical and drug coverage. With doctor visits as low as $10, $0 labs, and $0 generic drugs. Plus, you'll have access to a personal concierge customer service team. We're here to help. We've been helping members for over 30 years. Right here in Wisconsin. You'll also get benefits like vision and dental coverage, hearing aid discounts, travel coverage, and a Silver Sneakers Fitness membership. To help keep you moving. So don't wait. Call or go online today to get your Medicare coverage. Network Health. You'll notice the difference. Call 844-891-2992 or visit NetworkHealthNow.com to find the right Medicare plan for you. Welcome back to The Better Half, and we are talking Thanksgiving wines. Raise your hand if you like wine. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. She is with us today. She is the general manager, co-owner, and sommelier at Black and Tan Grill in downtown Green Bay. Welcome to The Better Half. Thank you for having me. And thank you for bringing wine. <laughs> of course, I bring it everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm going to start by asking you, uh, did I say it right, and what is a sommelier? You said it uh, correctly enough. Correctly enough. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sommelier is a trained wine expert. Uh, yeah. It's a certification that you receive. Uh, it took me a little bit longer than it takes most people to get to their level one. Um, it can but, take years, uh, right? It can take a very long wow. time, and, and it took me three years, okay. in, in all fairness. Mm -hmm. um, and I am only a level one. So um, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it means that I'm just a bitty little baby beginner <laughs> sommelier. Um, but there it, are, there's not a lot of them in the state, is there? There, any? I don't know how many there are in the state of Wisconsin. I'm going to say you're but, the first one um, I've met in a long time. <laughs> I know a couple others. But there, there are a few of us around. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a growing community. Um, and I think that the, the more vineyards that crop up and the more people that uh, learn that they love wine, and they try wine, they become more and more interested and they mm -hmm. want to go to school to learn how mm -hmm. to do this. It's going to be um, my next job. <laughs> I, I, think, I think it's a good, it's a good job much. to have. I mean, certainly uh, I get to spend a lot of time as, as my partner and executive chef likes to say, I drink a lot of wine. Well, we'd like to do that too. <laughs> so what did you bring for us today? I brought you a few items that I thought might pair not just with your traditional 
Thanksgiving dinner, but also with some of the newer uh, trends like game and things like oh, that. Okay. Um, what about with Parmesan corn pudding? <laughs> well, that was what I was most excited about. <laughs> I mentioned to Jill in the break that I was so happy that every single wine I brought would pair beautifully with that okay. corn pudding. Perfect. Um, and it will also pair with her Brussels sprouts that she's going to be doing in the next. <laughs> yes. Which one would you like to start with? Well, we're going to start with the cava. Um, I think a lot of people love bubbly. I love to start every celebration and every holiday with bubbly. Um, my mother used to always say, when, when life hands you trouble, just drink some bubble. So Thanksgiving is the time of year that we all like to get together and, and celebrate and forget about troubles and just share. The bubbles. Yes. <laughs> and I brought one that I thought would pair for an entire meal. Okay. I think sometimes when we're in the kitchen and we get our sisters together and we're all mm. in there doing our thing, we forget that we bought all this other stuff because we're drinking the bubbly. <laughs> so, you know, if you're going to stick with it, you got to stick with one that goes with everything. everything. Yeah. So you want to be careful when you're opening bubbly because your cage is there to hold the cork in. Oop. And then once you take it off like that, just yep, like that. Yep, yep. Uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't take off without okay. you. And then the proper way to open it is not to let it pop, okay. but to let it slowly come open. So this will either be an example of what to do or what not to do. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> he's a little upset about the car ride. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so normally before you open your bubble, you do want to let it rest in case you know you brought it immediately from mm -hmm. the car into the house because you want it to calm down so that it doesn't. Okay. Um, and then uh, just a little splash to get it going. I'm learning a lot already. I know. Like, I'm <laughs> seriously, like a lot. Just a little splash yeah. to get it going. Just to get it going, and then you can pour your pour. Typically, you don't um, you don't let the person who ordered the uh, bubbly do a taste. It's assumed that it's fine. Uh, oh. You don't swirl it. Uh, you just you drink can it. go right ahead and get your nose in there, and just drink it. It's beautiful. Sure. I'll let you. Okay. You do the first one. And don't you have to like hold the stem a certain way? When you're drinking a white wine, you always want to drink it from the stem. I know one thing. <laughs> there you go. It tastes great. That way it does not warm the wine. Your yep. hands will warm the wine and it will lose oh. its flavor. All right. That's smart. One for so you. Oh, you. Uh, you want a little bit more? <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Looking so we have to cheers. So would you start with this, finish with this? <laughs> so I like this particular one. This is called La Poema. It's a cava really from Spain. I'm going to take you all over the globe because <laughs> um, America is such a melting pot and I think sometimes we forget that people came from all over Very true. To, yeah. uh, to this amazing country. And so I like to have representation from as many different countries as I can when I do a meal like this. So cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Astrovia, wherever you're from, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And Tia, we're running out of time, so we probably okay. don't have time to taste. But I would like you to tell us what wines you selected so people so, can sure. try those. So right. I, try, I chose this one because um, it's from the Rioja region in Spain. If you've ever had a Rioja or a Crianza, you know they're very heavy, very dry. So because even with this bubbly, because of the grape, it will hold up to your fattier dishes, your okay. stuffing, your gravy, your sweet potatoes. Okay. The white? But your ara, your Sauvignon Blancs, that's when you've carved your turkey and you've got your cranberry sauces mm -hmm. and your corn pudding, uh, something a little bit lighter, a Brussels sprout salad, something like that. Shellfish if you're doing shrimp cocktail. Uh, the Elawan, I love this wine. If you like red wine, uh, this is a tri-county uh, Pinot Noir from Oregon. You've got the Willamette Valley, which is the cool region. It gives you that acidity. You've got the Umpqua Valley, which is the earthy cherry flavor. And then the Rogue Valley, which is your powerhouse. It gives you your tannins. Holds up to just about any kind of uh, poultry. Uh, Cornish game hen, duck, <laughs> goose. Speaking of which, if you're going to get your real game on, and you're going to do venison or goose or uh, oh. lamb. Some of the this, heavier ones. This is Bertani it. Bertani Bacolicella. It will oh, that would be for me. Just bring that over oh, here. Oh, girl, right? Make sure you know yourself. Just <laughs> open that. So when you're going to open a wine, uh, these are these are small A secret. Screw top. Okay, that'll be for the. You're you're a fan of the white wine, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Screw top. Is really Screw easy. top. Easy to store. Easy to open. Perfect. Uh, but you want to cut your foil just below the lip. 
and then use your knife to kind of get it going off the top for mm -hmm. you. I just feel like, like we that. could talk wines with Tia all She's, day yeah. long. <laughs> um, thank you so much for bringing the wines it's here and the bubbly. Thank Cheers you for having you. Yeah, Happy yeah. holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and she mentioned that she picked these wines. That, Fortunately, they match all the recipes yep. that we're yes. doing today. The corn pudding. <laughs> and Jill is back in the kitchen getting ready for Brussels sprouts with a twist. I think you know what that twist is. It's bacon. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>Back in the kitchen with Chef Jill Everman of Gather on Broadway with bacon. It smells awesome. <laughs> I feel like I have to sing that. I bacon. know, right? It's so good. She <laughs> wasn't even in this segment. I was wasn't. I just, her yeah. bacon. <laughs> and interestingly enough, you're not usually like running to the kitchen when no, there's vegetables involved. No. I'm but such you? a picky eater, but Brussels sprouts are my jam. I love I'm them. So confused. So I, I know. <laughs> Everyone's probably confused. If you've been watching, you guys know. Like I'm not that person, but I love Brussels sprouts. And, awesome. and it's a unique flavor. I mean, for it's for like vegetables. baby cabbage it to is. me, kind it of. Is. It's a unique flavor, and I think so many people think they hate Brussels sprouts I because they them. all had them. Their grandma, their mom right. boiled them and didn't put salt and pepper on them, and they exactly. were just these awful, stinky vegetables. Yeah. But you add bacon and mm -hmm. yummy flavors to mm -hmm. them, and you get them. Season them. them. Yes, they're it's delicious. Great. They're like, yeah. oh, they're good for right. you. Okay, so, so do, you, do you have a name for this dish? No. Okay. <laughs> things right. I like put in a big dish. <laughs> Perfect. That's All pretty much what I got. in the cookbook. Ex yeah, there's stuff I like, basically, what's going to be called. Um, okay, so right now I've got some thick cut bacon that's just cooking down, getting okay. all that bacon fat in there. Now, mm -hmm. no, we're gonna, not going to do anything crazy like drain the bacon fat off. Okay. We want that. We want that in there. We do. It's going to okay. season cool. it up. So we're going to add to this um, some butter. Better. Okay. I'm going to have you just kind of stir oh, that sure. up, let that melt in, and kind of get it all okay. in that okay. bacon Get it fat. in there, Rachel. All yes. the butter. All in there. <laughs> she wants all that butter in there. You wear the right sleeves for this. Oh, oh do yeah. want heaven to do no, it? Are you okay? Fine. Don't I'm catch fine. on fire. Please don't. Um, okay. Next, I'm going to add in some what every Thanksgiving dish needs. You've got to have that fresh sage. Mm -hmm. And don't get the dried sage because it's like, it has this like dusty 
thing oh, going. Yeah. I don't like it. it We're going to get the fresh sage. Dust. But you don't want to add this in raw. You've got to cook this down. Otherwise, it's going to taste like a pine tree. So we're going to add yeah. that in there like okay. this and let that get all yummy all and right. crunchy in there. We're also going to add in chestnuts. Now, people get confused chestnuts. about chestnuts. Nuts. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that coming. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen a chestnut yeah. ever in life. I just know it literally from that song. So this is like <laughs> amazing first right here. I could <laughs> never ever sing when heaven's in the room. No, Rachel, no, that was really that's beautiful. True. It's a little it was beautiful. And never do my makeup in front of her either. Oh my She'll be so God. like terrified. She looks at me and she's like, mm. What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I can fix that. Um, I want you to grab these. I have Brussels sprouts that I've had okay. Okay. in there and just Get them in there and let them sizzle. Get them I'm in there. I'm excited. So while you're doing that, I'm going to chop up these chestnuts. Now, because it's Thanksgiving and Christmas and holidays and all that fun stuff, yeah. things, uh, chestnuts are readily available. You'll find them vacuum-packed or you'll find them in jars. Okay. So just so look in, like, the baking section where, like, the cans. These are in the baking section. Yeah, I find them, okay. the like, where the cans of pie filling are and okay. stuff. That's okay. where I find them. So do you like your Brussels like this or do you like them? Both. I like Both. them in the oven. I like them yep. boiled. Okay. I, I just love them. Right now like I want. plain like this? I mean, I got to put a little, yeah, a little butter or something. Yeah. Pepper, but yes. Yeah. Am I putting all these in? Yeah, there? get okay. them in there and soak up that bacon well, you fat. you didn't have them in there for very long, did no, you? No, because we're going to cook them in here, but this okay. will just kind of get a little of the stink off them and tender them up just a yep. little bit. <laughs> get the stink I know, it's a, it's a sexy way to say it, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, so you just chop up a bunch of chestnuts. Now, if you want to make your own, you can. You can roast them in the oven. That song is legit. It's so um, legit. <laughs> but uh, to me, this is so much easier. And you can add them to your stuffings, your dressings, your gravies, whatever you want to add them to. I just can't even envision it. Just I've never tasted it. Like, it's like... I'm excited to try it. I just like yeah. literally from that song, but I'm excited to see what they They're taste like. They're buttery, like a cashew almost. Can like, you eat like, them okay. just like that out of the? Oh sure. Yeah, do people do that? Crunch them up and okay. add them to appetizers, and yeah, they're delightful. Try Give one. Them. Okay. They look like mushrooms, but they just taste like a, a soft, buttery nut. Oh, it is kind of like a um, <laughs> nut. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's a little bit softer. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna yeah stir that up. Let those get nice and uh, golden in that bacon fat. Okay. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt, not a ton, just a little bit, because um, that bacon's gonna be salty. So we don't okay. want to go too crazy. Right. right. Yep. And of course some fresh cracked pepper. Whenever you can do fresh cracked, that's the best. Yes, but just is. any kind of bet, any kind of pepper you okay. like. Okay. And then once Ooh, that kind of comes together and starts to get a little bit of a good. golden awesome. color to it, yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of chicken or turkey broth, just a smidge. I just have okay. about a quarter cup. Just to kind of get it a little bit put together here, let it all sink down those flavors. Little, this is yeah, my little, kind of you know. Right? How many glasses of wine did you have? Do it again, Rachel. Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. A little, you know. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's robust flavor. <laughs> so you're just gonna let all of this come together. Can we that... redo this segment? No, no, we can't. Um, clearly, I'm the only one who didn't have wine because here. Wee! Thank you. And there um, you go. So all you're going to do now is just for a few minutes, just let this sink down. Let those flavors come together. Mm -hmm. Let the gold, get the Brussels sprouts get a little golden. And then that's okay. just a simple side dish that it's comes so together good. in no time. Very and the flavors good. are fantastic. Really great. All right. So you want to let this cook Yeah, let's let that cook just a little bit. How many minutes? Because hey, I want to make this. Till it's golden. Okay. Till til these golden. get till these get a little golden in that bacon okay. fat and it all cooks down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, gather on Broadway. Holidays mm. are coming up. Mm. Do you do holiday? Oh, yeah. What do you do holiday for people? Okay. So we have well, both of our breakfast with Santas are sold out already, but Aww. we are still mm. booking for holiday parties, which is fantastic because even though there's not a lot of dates left in December, January, tons of dates open, and you don't have to have a humongous event at Gather. We have a small chef's table upstairs. A lot of people are doing cooking classes, There's like team so building cooking yes. classes mm -hmm. instead of going to like a Christmas party yeah. or a holiday party. So we offer all sizes, all different things, fantastic activities in, in my opinion, the most beautiful call. place yeah. in town. So <laughs> Do a post New Year's Eve party. And yes, give this girl a I call. think so too, because yes. everyone right. does holiday yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna uh, give this a taste when we come back. You're watching The Better Half. Cooking segments on the better half are brought to you by Patrick Cudahy. Since 1888, better then, better now. It's that time of year again. Time to get your Medicare coverage. We know a lot about Medicare. We're Network Health. 
Call or go online now to learn about our Medicare Advantage PPO plans. Plans start as low as $0 a month, including medical and drug coverage. With doctor visits as low as $10, $0 labs, and $0 generic drugs. Plus, you'll have access to a personal concierge customer service team. We're here to help. We've been helping members for over 30 years. Right here in Wisconsin. You'll also get benefits like vision and dental coverage, hearing aid discounts, travel coverage, and a Silver Sneakers fitness membership. To help keep you moving. So don't wait. Call or go online today to get your Medicare coverage. Network Health. You'll notice the difference. Call 844-891-2992 or visit NetworkHealthNow.com to find the right Medicare plan for you. I bet you wonder what you're gonna see today. I bet you wonder who you get to be today. Cause every time you go in, Thank you for supporting our mission. You always amaze me. Real cheese people are ham and Swiss people. They're hot and cold, big and bold. But they would never make a sandwich with pasteurized processed cheese food. Sargento slices are 100% real natural cheese. Sargento, we're real cheese people. Well, I think Kevin is thankful for Jill's I am. Brussels sprouts. How are they? They're very good. This is number three. I don't want to drop the bacon. Well, again, thank you so much for being here, and thank you all for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>